Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rift Waters Fish Room. We've had a good couple videos recently focused on the fish room as a whole, but it's been a minute since we've done a good species spotlight. So that's what I want to do today. We're going to take a close look at a beautiful African cichlid. We're looking at the Nimbochromus living stone eye, a large haplochromine from Lake Malawi. This is an absolutely stunning fish. One that I would recommend to any aquarist interested in large African cichlids. But if you ever want to keep a fish like this, then you got to know a few things about it first. And you got to be prepared to keep it successfully. So that's what we're going to go through today. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. The most important thing to know about this fish is they get big. A male living stone eye can reach 9 to maybe 10 inches. The one you're looking at in this footage is 8 inches. And females can get 6 to up to 7 inches. Those are big fish, and they require big tanks. We keep our living stone eye in a 600 gallon aquarium. Now, you don't need a 9 foot 600 gallon tank for these fish, which is good because not everyone has a tank that large. I fully recognize how fortunate we are to have an aquarium of this size, but you still need a big tank for this species. I recommend a minimum of 125 gallon. That is your typical 6 foot tank. That's going to give them enough space to grow to the size they do and still swim around. Ideally, you'd have even bigger than that, maybe a 180 or a 220, but at the minimum, a 125. You can keep them in smaller tanks as they grow up and mature, and you can even keep adult groups in a 75 gallon for short periods of time for breeding purposes. I've done that myself but you can't keep them in there for too long because it's just too small of a tank. A nine to 10 inch fish sounds big, but when you see them in person, especially with how active they are, it really hits you how large of a fish this is. So you really need to give them a proper sized home. As with most African cichlids, you're going to be looking at an aggressive fish. So your tank mates, unfortunately, are going to be a bit limited. These fish need to be kept with other fish of similar size and temperament, usually meaning other big Malawian cichlids. We keep our living stone eye with blue dolphins, Malawi hawks, Bukachromis, fish of that size, and similar aggression levels. We also keep him with another Nimbochromis species, the Nimbochromis venustus, which you're looking at here. And in this 600 gallon, they do okay together, but I have noticed they seem to target each other. They go after each other almost intentionally, sometimes ignoring the other fish. Now, in an aquarium of this size, they have more than enough room to cohabitate. But if you were to put them together in a smaller tank, it's just something to keep an eye out for and have a backup plan in case you need to remove one of them if they're causing too much damage on each other. We have also successfully kept our living stone eye with smaller African cichlids, like peacocks in the 5.5 inch range, even down to small mbuna, like juvenile yellow labs. However, I suspect this is a function of the size of tank we have the fish in, and the amount of rock work in caves that they have to hide in. I don't know if I would recommend that if you keep these fish in a smaller tank. It could work out just fine, particularly if you have larger peacocks or mbuna with plenty of rocky hiding places. But I would just be cautious if you go that route and definitely be prepared with a backup plan. Now, if you decide to keep these in a species only tank, which is always a solid idea in my opinion, then you're going to want to follow the usual guidance of one male to three to four females. I do find you have more flexibility in those ratios than some people would lead you to believe. I myself keep a lighter ratio of females when I do species only setups, but it does add a layer of complexity, so we won't really get into that today. Moving on to water, it's going to be consistent with most other African cichlids. We keep our living stone eye in very hard water with a pH of 8.2, sometimes up to 8.4. But we're not doing anything special to hit those parameters. That's just how our water is out of the tap. But it does line up with most advice you'll see online because it closely mimics their natural environment. 
However, I do find African cichlids to be much more adaptable than the internet will lead you to believe, and they can tolerate, even thrive, in a much wider range of water parameters. I don't know if I would take them anything below 7.0 pH, that might be getting too acidic, but anything from 7.0 up to 8.5, I mean, they will do great. And if your water is below 7.0, or you just want to play it safe and give them some more buffering capacity, then you can put something like crushed coral in your substrate to get more close to that hard water with a high pH. As far as temperature goes, we keep our African cichlids right around 77, 78 degrees Fahrenheit, but they'll do just fine in anything from that 75 up to 80 degrees range. Outside of all that, you just need to make sure they have clean water. These fish get big, and they are heavy waste producers. They are voracious eaters, and they make their water dirty, especially if you keep them with a community of other large African cichlids. So you're going to need some heavy filtration and a frequent water change schedule. We change 50% of our tank water at least every other week, but we try to do it once per week. Now I'm going to get on my soapbox for just a minute here. I know there's a lot of people talking right now about not doing water changes on aquariums. There's this big trend in the hobby between deep sand beds and heavily planted tanks. A lot of people out there are saying, you don't have to change water. I'm going to say right now, while that is possible in some setups, unfortunately you cannot take that approach with African cichlids, especially with large African cichlids. This topic definitely warrants its own video, but for now, just take my word that if you want to keep these fish, plan on doing some water changes. Let's quickly cover off on the type of food that you can feed your living stone eye. African cichlids are not picky eaters. They'll eat pretty much whatever you put in the tank. But luckily, you don't really have to guess at this. There is a wide selection of fish foods on the market specifically tailored and advertised for African cichlids. Pick up pretty much any of them and they'll be good. We like the extreme pellets, the Hikari pellets, and North Fin. Uh, some high quality pellets are what we use for our fish. As long as you give them a good varied diet and avoid things that are high protein and high fat like bloodworms, your fish will do just fine. Well guys, that's about all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned a little something about the beautiful Nimbochromus living stone eye. It's a stunning African cichlid that I highly recommend any aquarist consider keeping at some point in their hobby. It's a big fish that you need to be prepared to take care of, but it is so worth it. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time.